I'm really glad you asked the question. What should you do with your life? Man, um, you can be happy about asking that question. You can be happy about it coming up. Now, I know you're not, but you're stressed about it. It's, it's causing you some stress, and, and I can fully guarantee, uh, I'm pretty confident that I can calm you down a bit with this episode. And I'm going to show you a couple things I have on the floor here. And um, I, I think you're going to get a lot out of this one, okay? Because it's a big question. Congratulations for asking yourself a really big one. I know you do that a lot, probably. You're very analytical. You like questioning. Is, is the grass really greener on the other side? Could I do better? Should I do better? Should I move? Should I change career? Should I do this? Should I do this? And this is when the question comes up. If we're even happy in the moment, St. Paul calls it a thorn in the flesh, like a little, little prick. So you're happy in the moment and then it comes up. Oh, you know you've been at this job for a couple of years. You know, there's probably something better out there. With your experience, you could do this. You could make more money. You could do this. Why are you even happy here? What the hell are you doing with your life? You're complacent. You're lazy. You're too comfortable. Get uncomfortable. Get out there. What the hell are you doing with your life? And then there's a state of when we're in an emotional low. And when we're low, man, that's when the analytical mind and questions come at us. The reason this happens is because we want to think about how the hell to get out of this state. Right? We're feeling so low. How did we get here? What will make me feel better? Well, the question comes in. Well, you feel like shit. What the hell are you doing with your life? Why aren't you happy then? Change your situation. Change your environment. Change your career. Change your relationship. You need to change, obviously, if you feel bad. Something is going wrong if you feel bad. So you need to change. So what the hell are you doing with your life? What should you do? So let's break down the question first. Should and do. Oh my goodness. Okay. Why do you think you should know what you should do with your life? Why should you know that? Are you writing this down? Come on. Write it down. This is a lecture. All right. Sermon. Why should you know? What, what is the world telling you, family, relatives, friends, social media, news outlets, whatever? What is telling you that at your age, at your specific age, at your, in your season of life, wherever that is, man, you could be in school, you could be graduated, you could have a career and you're 20 years in and you're still like, I don't know, it's not fueling me. You're 50, you're 60, you're 80, you're 20. What is the reason you think you should know right now? That you should be 100% definite. That you should have an answer. And not just an answer that's like a little, a little deflating balloon and you catch it. No, this answer needs to be solid, written in stone, and it should never move. It should never move. What's, what's making you feel that? I wonder. Because you see other people living an awesome life and you believe that they're exactly where they want to be in life. You know so much about people. You know so much about your friends, about people online that, that you think, yeah, they really have it figured out. They really know exactly what they're doing with their life. And I'm not. What do you think it is? So ask yourself that one. The should statement. Let's switch it. What can I do with my life? What do I want to do with my life? What interests me in my life? That's a big one. What am I good at? What fuels me? What do I do where time stands still? So the should can be a want. What do I want to do? What can I do? What am I good at doing? So switch those words up and write yourself all these different questions and see if the answer changes, and it will. But it'll change even more when we change this do. Do. D-O. What should you do? Okay. Most of you are thinking career-wise, aren't you? In North America, we're so obsessed with career. What do you do? What is your job? You meet someone, right? So what do you do? So what do you do? It's like, 
I'm a fucking greeter at Walmart. Who cares? I, I like music. I play guitar. I do this. I do this. I love sailing. I, you know, I play ping pong. It's one part of you, my friends. You don't have to, if no one else has told you this, let me be the first. You don't have to center your entire life around your career. I know money is important. I know things are so expensive. I know. But let's have a little balance here. You don't need to center your entire being, every single thought, every single move you make, every single decision you make in your life. You don't have to center that about a job, about a career. How you make money does not need to be your vocation. How you make money does not need to be your vocation. You do not need a career. You can have a job. Everyone's telling you, you got to love what you do. You got to get up every morning and have a boner for your work. You don't. You don't. Who says you do? Friends, family, social media, influencers, other people you know that just love their job so much, they got lucky or they work towards it, or they knew exactly what they wanted, but you aren't them, and they aren't you. This is your life, and you don't need an answer for that. So what should you do with your life? Think about, okay, am I talking about career? What if you weren't talking about career? What other things do you want to do? And this is where the interest comes in, and, and the wants come in. Check this out. Listen. I, I, I do public speaking gigs, I travel around, I, I talk to schools, corporations, I do my mindfulness thing, I do coaching, I do a bunch of courses, and, and that's pretty cool. But you know what I really love? Check this out. I'm at, uh, where did we get this? Uh, Russell Books. Russell Books, downtown Victoria. I saw it on the shelf. And oh my God, my friends, check this out. Are you kidding me? Beethoven. The Bicentennial Edition. You should see, okay, first of all, you should smell this book, but within this book is letters that Beethoven wrote to friends. This is some of the original notation of his symphonies and of his quartets. And, oh, there's a classic painting. Here are some letters that he wrote. And I'm a nerd for this stuff. And if you ask me, what do I want to do with my life? One part of it is I want to listen to every single piece that Beethoven wrote. And I want to travel to Vienna where he did some concerts. And I want to learn more about his life. And everything about his life is in here. And I love it. I absolutely love it. You know me. You know the Pastoral Symphony is my absolute favorite. And it's taken me from the bottoms to help me tread water in the darkest of times. I owe so much to this guy and I want to learn a lot about Beethoven. You guys are like, nerd. <laughs> what, you're like, what should I do with my life? It's, it's so serious that I need to figure out the job thing. Okay, in times, yeah. In times you're gonna have to make some decisions, okay? Do you know how I chose a university and, and, a, and a degree? In 2007, a documentary came out called An Inconvenient Truth by Al Gore. Remember this? It was about climate change. I didn't know anything about climate change. I didn't know. I knew, you know, you don't throw your trash on the floor, put it in a garbage can, and that's about it. But I saw this, and I'm like, oh, my God, the world's going to end. So what did I do? I looked up degrees about climate change, about international development, about um, environment and resource studies, and I picked a school that had it, and I went there for five years of my life because I watched a documentary. And if it wasn't for doing that, I wouldn't have experienced the worst depression of my life. I wouldn't have met some amazing teachers and the friends I have today. And I wouldn't be here right now because that's where I started my YouTube channel. That's why I wanted to help people. That's why I became a coach because I was a teaching assistant and then a tutor and then I was a residence assistant. Things will align when you make decisions. But don't trap yourself into overthinking decisions. Take care of what you can right now. Take care of it. But you're overthinking so much about, is this the right thing? I don't know what to do with my life. What should I do with my life? Pick something. I'm serious. Pick something. 
because picking something is usually the best move on the chessboard. It's the best move you have right now. If you've been chilling for a while, because a lot of the time, sit with it, chill out a little bit. But if you're just overthinking it and haven't made a decision and are waiting for an opportunity to arise and you're just sitting at home, nothing's gonna happen, man. I'm so sorry to tell you this. Get out there, make a simple decision. Start small, but start making some decisions. Start making some moves on the chessboard. Start making some moves. And you're the king or the queen. So guess what? You make a bad decision, the king can move back. You make a bad decision, great if you're a female, you, you can move all over the place and you can move back. Don't think that you're, because you make a decision, you're stuck with it for life. You're not. You're not. Here's what really pisses me off. I meet people like you in person every day. One thing I'm really good at is striking up conversations with strangers. I'm so good at it. And it's taken me so many years to be able to see what I'm good at and, and say it out loud to people because I put myself down. I'm so good at talking to strangers. I meet people all the time. I meet people just like you. And you're like, Scott, you don't know me. Sure I do. If you're asking this question, I know you. You're scared to make a move. You're scared you're gonna fuck up. You're scared you're gonna disappoint people. You wish you knew more. You wish you were like others. You wish you had a plan. You wish you had an answer. You hope things would be different. You thought things would be different. And they're not. So this shit sucks. Great. Yeah, it does suck. But in this moment in time, I wonder if you can give yourself a little bit of grace. A little bit of grace. And if, you're, if you want to pray, you can pray. If you want to meditate, you can meditate. If you want to bounce ideas off other people, go for it. But for this question to bring you down and to cause you to judge yourself harshly, be angry at yourself, that's not the way forward. That is going to allow you to make a the wrong decision when it's made out of anger, made out of jealousy. Ask yourself, what do I want to do? What am I interested in? What am I good at? And genuinely, what will be good for me? What is good for me right now? You writing it down? What, at this moment in time, in this season of my life, what is good for me? And if you're sitting there and you're like, shit, I haven't left the house in a while. You know, if this is a bigger thing, like I'm, I've been depressed for a long time, what would be good for you is getting some help, calling a doctor, try medication, try therapy. A bunch of links are in the description. Doing something, do something. Even your something of meditation of prayer isn't nothing, okay? But eventually you're gonna have to make a move. And I hope you make that move with compassion for yourself and kindness for yourself. You don't need to know the answers. You don't need to know 20 moves ahead. I tell this to people all the time, move from A to B. That's my dad's thing. Don't think about Z. Scott, move from A to B. What's your next step? Well, I, I don't even have an interview yet for a job, but I don't even have clothes to even go to an interview. All right, get yourself some shirts. That's move number one. That's move number one. Move number one is thinking I need shirts. How about that? Move number one is you writing a list of things you need to get done today. That's it. I need shirts for a possible interview I will have in the future. Come on. What should I do with my life? God. If I asked myself that question a lot and too much, I wouldn't be here. I would have been crippled by the question. I would have been crippled by the question. And questions are meant to move you forward towards some kind of answer, an answer that you don't even know yet. Remember, I talked about living out your questions. If you're new to the channel, 
check out some stuff in previous episodes. Live out your question. You don't solve it by sitting. You don't solve it just by asking. You solve it by moving. You solve it by making decisions. Move into your interests a little bit. Don't move into this thing about a career. Guys, the uh, virus thingy that's been happening and it happened in 2020, that changed the world. People don't really have careers that are our age anymore. People are working remote. People are living in their houses. I'm looking at a building across the street. I haven't seen a person in this office building. Been here for all, almost a month. You see uh, places downtown Toronto, there's no one there. The world has changed. You can switch jobs like that. You can create a new interest. You can try a new thing. Go play guitar, go play the f flute. I picked up an interest here. Got my own pocket New Testament and it has the Psalms and Proverbs or the Book of Wisdom. And this is fun for me. It's fun diving into faith. It's fun looking at things that people wrote 2,000 years ago. It's so cool. It's so cool. Do things that interest you rather than focusing and centering your life around one thing, the thing that brings you coins into your purse. I'll punch you in the coin purse if you, if you keep overthinking this one, okay? Give yourself some grace, have some fun with it. Wonder, ponder. Don't beat yourself up. What should you do? What can you do? And you can do a hell of a lot. You can't make a bad decision this time, man. Just choose something that you can do. And whatever you choose, you'll be really good at it. <laughs> I'll see ya. And oh, uh, Patreon, all that stuff, support me if this helped you. Throw me a toonie, all right? And, uh, and uh, then you can meet me monthly or if you want one-on-one -on -one coaching, that's in there and uh, better help as well. You know that link. If you're needing therapy right now and you're down in the dumps and you're feeling really low and can't get out of bed, I'm not your man. Professional help is, is, is there for you. Please seek help. Love you. God bless.